Here's a little behind the scenes of my office. Once again, thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe, hit that thumbs up. I appreciate your guys' support. Thanks once again. Today I bring you the E-Flex Renogy 5 watt portable solar panel with USB port. Some key features of the E-Flex Renogy 5 watt solar panel. It's monocrystalline solar cells, smart auto optimization USB charger, so it kind of senses um, what you are charging and what you are plugging into the unit before it delivers power into the actual unit. So there's like a micro delay, hard to really count. ETFE material for more light absorption. It's hard to explain what the material is, but it's kind of has this. So back to the feel real quick. Uh, I don't know if you guys can hear this. But it reminds me of a plastic cutting board if you were to run your fingers on top of the material. The solar panel side itself has like this cutting board feel to it. Weatherproof and durable layering. That's good. So if you were to hang it on your backpack and go somewhere, you're at least protected. The other, the, the component that would not be protected is the USB port. So I'm not quite sure how that would perform with rain. It's got some carabiners and some suction cup uh, for the windows. Here I'm going to walk you through some scenarios where I placed the solar panel flat on the ground in shade, sunny, um, elevated a 30 degree pitch or a 45 to 60 degree pitch. These are all speculation degrees, pitches. I'm just throwing these numbers out just based on eyeball test. And then also kind of showing the amperage that is being displayed in each scenario um, and the voltage. Sun's out, bun's out, let's go. Round two. Back to 135, I actually saw, holy cow. 135. Twenty milliamps, thirty, twenty, thirty to forty. Three hundred and twenty. So closing remarks, the Renogy E-Flex 5 watt performs as long as it's getting five volts, whether it's 30 milliamps or 1.4 amps, it will charge your battery. It might take a whole entire week or it might just take a couple hours, but in the end, it will charge your batteries. It's just depends on the angle of the solar panel and the strength of the sun.